Christine McCammon getting ready to show you a recipe from the new Brightline Eating Cookbook. Again, this is the official Brightline Eating Cookbook um, following truly the four bright lines of no sugar and no flour. Um, those are the first two. Of course, the third bright line is three meals a day and the fourth bright line is measured portions. But this truly has no flour, no sugar of any kind in any of the recipes. So here we go. I'm going to make a recipe called hamburger cabbage stir fry. It reminds me a lot of recipes I've heard people talk about called egg roll in a bowl, which is basically an egg roll insides in a bowl without the wrapper. The wrapper usually contains wheat, possibly even flour, depending on what kind you uh, have. So the, re the ingredients for this is hamburger, of course, ground beef, cabbage, carrots. I took help from the store on this one and just bought a packaged bag already shredded, peas, salt, pepper, soy sauce, onion, garlic, and a little bit of water in case it starts to dry out while it's cooking towards the end. So the first thing I'm gonna do is brown the ground beef. So I'm gonna get onto that. My pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna get the ground beef in there and get it nice and caramelized. Now that the ground beef is nice and brown, I'm going to drain it on a plate with a paper towel underneath just to drain a little bit more of the grease. And I do want to leave just a little bit of the grease in the pan, kind of so it glistens. And then I'm going to add the onions and garlic and just brown those a little bit. Now that the onions and garlic are a little bit translucent, I can add the cabbage. Seems like a lot, but it cooks down quite a bit. And you know, as Brightline eaters eat a lot of vegetables, so we need all this cabbage for the recipe. And it will cook down and end up making about three or four servings, depending on how you measure yourself. All right, so now we just wait for that to cook down a bit. It takes about 10 minutes or so for this step. So the cabbage is ready, it's a little bit brown, it's cooked down quite a bit, and now we just add the peas to warm them through. So I just create a little spot in the center, get every last little pea, cut that over, and just kind of stir it through. And I, they're mostly frozen, and this part maybe takes, oh, another two minutes or so. And then this is where I like to add a little bit of soy sauce, about a tablespoon. And you can also add water if you feel like it's starting to dry out, but it seems fine. So about a tablespoon. I don't measure everything as far as the condiment like that. So if you want to measure that, measure out a tablespoon. Okay, so this will take another two minutes and then I'll show you how I measure it out for the meal. So it is done, literally took 15, 20 minutes and that included chopping everything up and having everything ready. So we have the vegetables here, I have the meat here. You could certainly just serve it to your family like this. It's really, really good uh, by itself. You could certainly add rice if your family eats grain at dinner. For me, I'm gonna guard it for myself. So I'm gonna make three portions. This should be about 24 to 30 ounces of vegetables. I'll weigh it out and show you that. And then this meat should be about three servings. So I'm going to have the next three days, lunches, dinners, whatever I choose it to be in the fridge, ready to go. So I've weighed out the first portion of 10 ounces of vegetables, and now I will go ahead and weigh the meat right on top of that. I've weighed out the meat portion, the protein portion, and now I have a full vegetable and protein portion for each meal. So I have three perfectly measured meals to pop in the fridge once they cool and pull out and I'm gonna go to my food journal, figure out what days I want them and write them down because I really kind of want one right now, but I'm gonna have to wait another couple hours till my dinner time. There are a lot of great recipes in the cookbook. Again, it does follow the bright lines of no sugar, no flour, no sweeteners, or no flour of any kind. So the link is in the description. Feel free to check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love this recipe. I think that you'll really enjoy it if you try it out. If you like it, like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like it, feel free to subscribe to my channel, Life Unbinged. Also head on over to Instagram and Facebook if you'd like and follow me along there, Life Unbinged.